excited na po na makinig ang mensahe po muli na nagbumula sa ating Panginoon. Tayo na po lahat ay tumayo. At sa pagtayo po natin, tayo po ay magtaas ng ating dalawang kamay. Tayo po ay lumuko at pumikit. Haleluya. Sapagkat sa oras po ito, takilang bagay po muli ang gagawin ng Panginoon sa ating mga buhay. Muli sa oras po ito, muli po natin pakanasay ang malakas na kapangyarihan ng Diyos. Ang anointed message, full of power na maghahatid sa atin sa tunay na kaligtasan, tumanggap ng Himala, maranasan ang kabutihan ng Diyos. Dadalhin tayo sa ating high calling and perfect destiny in Christ. I-welcome po natin ang malakas na presensya ng Diyos sa kanyang lingkod na ginamit noon, ginagamit ngayon, at patuloy niya pang gagamitin upang dalhin ang lahat ng tao sa kanyang pinakamataas na katawagan at pinakaperfectong kalagayan sa piling ng ating Panginoon. Wala pong iba ang lingkod ng Diyos, Ricardo D. Carillo.
Thank you, Father God, for all the things that you are in store for us. So, Father God, receive all the praise, the glory, and the honor in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And everybody says, Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Please sit down and expect something great from God kahit lahat ay umubo at magnasa ng dalilang bagay mula sa Panginoon at sa ating pagdalo hindi tayo bibigoy ng Diyos Amen po ba? Dalilang bagay ang gagawin ng Panginoon and to those who are watching and listening out there as the Lord will move mightily in this place wherever you are right now the Lord will also move mightily in your place or wherever you are in right now. And as the Lord touches the people in this place, you will also be touched by God. And even I tell you, your life will never ever be the same again. Amen. Lakpakan natin ang Panginoon. So we give the best clap for Jesus. Yan ang mga pinakala best ng palakpak para sa Panginoon. Hallelujah. At gusto kong sabihin sa inyo, Are you listening? Gusto ko sabihin sa inyo, bago matapos ang taong ito, dakilang bagay ang gagawin ng Panginoon. Amen. Ngulit ko, not next year, before this year ended, no? or the, before the end of this year, no? God will do something great in our life. In our lives. Amen. Before the end of this year, Before this year end, may tao pa ho pa rito, we will receive something great from God. Amen. Palapakan natin ang Panginoon. Hindi na ang talaga ng palapak sa atin. Tayo nga tayo ng lahat. Alam mo, ayaw ng Diyos ng mga malalambia tayo eh. Tayo tayo. God wants an active, a live worshiper. Amen. Shall we give the best clap for Jesus? Amen. God. Yung pong pinakapalakas na amen ninyo. A big amen! Amen! Praise God! Amen. You can do better than that next time. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah! Shall we open our Bible in the book of 1 Samuel 1.19-20. Buksan natin ang ating mga Biblia sa unang Samuel 1.19-20. Praise God. Early the next morning, they arose and worshipped before the Lord and then went back to their home at Rima. Ilkana made love to his wife, Hannah. Made love, ha? Not made, made less, ha? Made love. Bakit sabi, made love? Made love. Hina, ha? Not made less, but made love. Ilkana made love to his wife, Hannah. And the Lord remembered her. So in the course of time, Hannah became pregnant and gave birth to a son. She named him Samuel, saying, Because I asked the Lord for him. So in the course of time, Hannah became pregnant and gave birth to a son. She named him Samuel, saying, Because I asked the Lord for him. Verse Samuel 1.19-20 Ano po? Maagang-maaga pa namang sila ay sumamba sa Diyos at sila ay umuwi na. At itong si Ilkana ay sinipingan ng kanyang asawa si Hana at ang Diyos ay inaala, inalala si Hana. At dumating ang taktang panahon si Hana ay nabuntis. May taktang panahon ng pagbuntis ha? Amen. Marami na bubuntis at itaktang panahon eh. Inaulit ko na. No? May taktang panahon sa pagbubuntis ha? Marami na bubuntis at di sa taktang panahon eh. No? May, many no, became pregnant not in perfect time. No? That's why they are suffering the consequences. Ito ako oh, ba dito? Amen po ba? Nakikinig ba kayo mga dalaga? Amen. Praise God. 
<laughs> At ang sabi ng Biblia, siya ay nagsilang ng isang lalaki. No? Hindi bakla, ha? Hindi tomboy. She gave birth to a boy. Not a member of LGBT, but a boy. Amen. Amen. A boy and a girl came from God. LGBT came from down there. She named him Samuel, saying, Because I asked the Lord for him. Yeah. Because I asked the Lord for him. Say it. Because I asked the Lord for him. Bakit binigyan siya ng anak? Sapagkat hiningi niya iyon sa Diyos. At ano ang pamagat ng ating mensahe? No? And ang pamagat, the title of this message, Burden with Problems, Burden with Problems, Pray to God, It Works. Nagkikinig po ko ba tayo? Nabibigatan ka ba sa iyong problema? No? Madalangin sa Diyos. No? No? Manalangin sa Diyos. Amen? At meron kang mapapala. Amen? Burden with problems, pray to God, it works. Pakipasa nga natin. Lakasan ninyo. Dapat patanong. Burden with problems, dapat ganun. O, oh, sige. No. With feeling. Come on, say it again. With feeling. Amen. Praise God. More <laughs> than with problems, pray to God. It works. Yeah. Nakikinig po ho ba tayo? Yeah. Amen. Ikaw ba ay nadadaganan ng mga problema? Ikaw ba ay bigat na bigat sa mga problema? Manalangin sa Diyos. Amen. Pakisabi manalangin. Manalangin. Amen. Intro. There are times that we are burdened, burdened with problems, or we are in need. No? Many times that we are burdened with problems or we are in need. Instead of thinking negative or giving up, or thinking of giving up, bring them all to God in prayer. All your needs, all your burdens, bring them all to God in prayer. Nakikinig pa po pa tayo. Kagaya ngayon, maraming nagturusa ngayon, di ba? Lalo na yung mga taklob, taga-takloban, taga-Leyte, taga-Summer, taga-Palawan, taga-Panay Island. Panay Island composed of uh, Andike, Iloilo, and Capiz. And it's called Panay Island. No? Panay Island, Palawan, Antique, Iloilo, Capiz, Zamar Province, Leyte, Cebu, and other parts of the Philippine uh, uh, Islands are suffering now because of Typhoon Hayan, Typhoon uh, Yolanda in the Philippines, Hayan, an international day. May kinig po ko ba tayo? Sa ngayon, maraming nagturusa. Tama po ba? Maraming nagturusa, maraming nagtitiis sa ngayon. Ikinig pa ho ba tayo? So kung maraming nagturusa at maraming uh, nagtitiis ngayon, so ano ang dapat gawin sa kita ng mga pagdurusa? Anong dapat gawin? Magpukpuk sa isang tabi? Magpakamatay? O kaya ay gabi ba? Hindi po. Ano ang dapat gawin? Madalangin. Amen. If we are burdened with problems, if we are busy facing problems, if we are in need right now, what we gonna do is to pray. Amen. Pray. Manalangin. Nakikinig pa ho ba tayo? Glory to God. So number one, number one, Hannah prayed to God. No. We could see in 1 Samuel chapter 1 verse 10. Pakikita natin sa unang Samuel 1 verse 10. No? Si Hana ay nanalangin. 
Verse 8, one ten says, In her deep anguish, Hannah prayed to the Lord, weeping bitterly. And in her deep anguish, Hannah prayed to the Lord, weeping bitterly. Sa kanyang matinding pagtitiis, kalungkutan, pagdurusa, anong ginawa ni Hannah? Si Hannah ay nanalangin. He prayed, she prayed, I mean, she prayed to God. Hannah prayed to God. Amen. In another, in the next. Yan. Why Hannah did pray to God? Why Hannah did pray to God? Number one, because she has no children. She has no child or children. He has no child or he has no she has no child or she has no children. She wants to have a child. She wants to have children. But unfortunately, she has she has none. Gusto niya magkaroon ng anak. O ng mga anak. Pero sa hindi inaasahan, wala siyang anak. She did think gusto magkaroon ng anak. Marami niyang anak, sobra-sobra na. Pwede niyong ampunin, pwede niyong hiramin. Pwede. No? Her rival, Pinena, keep provoking her till she wept and wouldn't eat. Her rival, Pinena, keep provoking her till she wept and would not eat. Meron siyang karibal. May tao pa ba rito? Sapagkat silang mga Israelita, tradisyon nila, hindi kalooban ng Diyos. Marami silang asawa. Inuulit ko ha, marami silang asawa. Yun ay hindi kalooban ng Diyos, tradisyon nila yun. At si uh, Elkana ay merong dalawang asawa, si Hana at saka si Pinena. Traditionally, but not the will of God, the Israelites have more than one wives like Elkana. Elkana has two wives. Penena and the other one is Hannah. And Penena has children. While Hannah has no children, has no child. Nakikinig pa ho ba tayo? So itong si Penena na maraming anak, laging iniinis ginagalit si Hana. Oy, baog, baog! Wala, hindi makagawa ng bata. Mahina! Inasabihan siya ng ganoon. No? no? The rival of Hana, Penena, keep provoking her till she wept and would not eat. Umiyak siya at ayaw na niyang kumain. No? Sinasabihan ba naman siya na, Oo, oh, oh, walang anak, walang anak. No, mahina, mahina yung lahi mo. Mahina ka. Gulang ka sa ano. <laughs> sa vitamin. <laughs> Pero iba, nilagatek ng vitamin. Pabihira, ang galing talaga eh. Napakagaling talaga. Hindi talaga naahaawat. <laughs> Shall we read for Samuel? <laughs> Chapter 1, verse 4 to 7. Whenever the day came, for Elkanah to sacrifice. Whenever the day came for Elkanah to sacrifice, he would give portions of the meat to his wife, Penena, and to all her sons and daughters. But to Hannah, he gave a double portion because he loved her and the Lord had closed her womb. Again, whenever the day came for Elkanah to sacrifice, he would give portions of the meat to his wife, Penena, and to all her sons and daughters. But to Hannah, he gave a double portion because he loved her and the Lord had closed her womb. Ayun. Si Hannah ay paog. No? Paog si Hannah, hindi nagkakaanak. No? Tawin natin ang pagbasa. Because the Lord had closed Hannah's womb, her rival keep provoking her in order to irritate her. No? Because the Lord had closed Hannah's womb, her rival keep provoking her in order to irritate her. This went on year after year 
whenever Hannah went out to the house of the Lord, her rival provoked her till she wept and would not eat. Iyon. No? Lagi na lang siya inaasar ng kanyang karibal. Ako, ang dami ko ng anak, ya, wala ka pa rin nagagawa. Ano ka ba naman? Napakahina mo naman. Nakiyak mo naman. Gumain ka kaya ng malunggay. Puro kasi karne. Hindi ako makain ng galunggay. Hindi ako makain ng mga pestabons. <laughs> okay. No? Balikan natin yung ating ano, yung taas kanina. Balikan natin yung number one tapos sa anong letter ba yun? Balikan natin. Yan, no? No, Hannah has no children. And not only that, her rival Penena keep provoking her till she wept and would not eat. Nakikinig pa po pa tayo next. Number two, Hannah poured out her soul to the Lord. Nakikinig po po pa tayo. No? Anong ginawa nung ni Hannah nung siya po ay na-depressed? What did Hannah do when when she was de depressed? Anong ginawa niya? No? Hannah poured out her soul to the Lord. She prayed to God, no? Hardly, no? She prayed to God, no? Talagang nanalangin talaga siya ng matindi sa Panginoon. Nagiginig pa po ba tayo? No. Maraming tao, sabihin nyo sa mga nasa lanta ng bagyo, sabihin nyo sa mga dumadanas ng problema, ngayong dumanas ka ng problema, wala kang gagawin kung hindi, manalangin. Ano ang nagpapaaborido sa buhay mo? Sino ang nagpapaaborido sa buhay mo? Ang magagawa mo ay manalangin. Ano ang bumibigat sa iyo? Anong dapat mong gawin? Matalangin. Hannah has no children and not only that, in addition to her misery, her rival Penina keep provoking her no, to irritate her until she wept and would not eat. But you know, Instead of giving up, instead of surrendering, Hannah prayed to the Lord. Amen? Hannah poured out her soul to the Lord. No? Pinuhus niya yung lahat ng laman ng kanyang puso sa Diyos. Pakisabi, binuhus. Yun. Nagiginig po po tayo? Napakaganda ng mensaheng ito. I thank you. Napakaganda. Ganun po ang gawin natin. Kapag tayo ay bigat na bigat na. Bigat na bigat sa ugali ng ating mga mahal sa buhay. Ugali ng ating mga kapitbahay. Bigat na bigat sa ating mga pag-aaral, sa ating pag-trabaho, sa ating pag-negosyo. Bigat na bigat sa buhay na ito. Nakakaranas na niya kabigatan. Ang dapat natin gawin ay manalangin. If we are burdened with problems, instead of thinking of giving up, no. What we gonna do is to pray to God. Amen. Because prayer, it works. Amen. Palakpakan natin sa Lord. Hallelujah. Pray. Please say to the next person beside you, pray. Not more, more. Not complain, but pray. No. Do not commit suicide, but pray. Amen. Di ba mar? Di ba meron tayong na balitaan? Meron tayong na panood. Student siya. No. At siya ay gumukuha na isang kurso. At ang kurso iyo na ay gusto ng kanyang mga bagula pero hindi niya gusto ang kurso iyon. Ano ang ginawa niya? Umakas sa isang rooftop at tumalon at nagpakam tayo. A student, a student committed suicide. Why? Because her parents wanted him to take this course. Pero ayaw niya ng kurso iyon. 
No. He didn't like that course. What did he do? Siya ay umakyat, umakyat na rooftop. Pagkatapos natin sa rooftop, siya ay tumalo. He climbed to the rooftop of a building the kitchen. So ano nangyari? Ano nangyari sa kanya? Namatay. Ayun. Nakikinig po po ba tayo? Meron akong tip sa inyo. Sino na ito yung mga dalagat pinata? Taas ang kamay. Sige po, taas ang mga dalagat pinata. Yung mga, mga nagdadalagat at bibinata, taas din ang kamay. Huwag na huwag kang mag-aasawa ng mahina ang loob. Walang mangyayari. Para ka lang kumuha ng batong ipupukpok sa ulo mo. If you are single, do not marry. No? Do not marry a coward person. Yes. Do not marry a coward person. Nakikinig po ko ba tayo? If you are single. No? Because you will only no, bring yourself into misery. Pangalawa, taas na uli kamay ng mga dalagat pinata rito. Sige taas. Ako nakataas eh. Oh. Yung mga nagdadalagat at bibinata. Huwag na huwag kang mag-aasawa ng tamad. Yes. Walang mangyayari sa inyo. If you are single, do not marry a lazy person. Because you will find yourself in a misery. Kasi ang kawain ng mga dalagat pinata rito, mga nagdadalagat, mga nagbibinata. Huwag na huwag kang mag-aasawa na palamunin. Kakain kayo ng kanin baboy. Nagigip. Do not marry an irresponsible person. Hello? Because you will only eat pig's food. Hello? Ang kilig pa ko Okay. Those are my tips for you, single. Yung mga may asawa, takapag-asawa na kayo niyan, wala na akong magagawa. Pray! It works. <laughs> okay. Number two, Hannah poured out her soul to the Lord. First Samuel 1, 12-17. Shall we read? As she keep on praying to the Lord, Eli observed her mouth. Hannah was, was praying in her heart and her lips were moving, but her voice was not heard. Eli thought she was drunk. As she kept on praying to the Lord, Eli observed her mouth. Hannah was praying in her heart, and her lips were moving, but her voice was not heard. Eli thought she was drunk. Ganito siya manalangin, no? Walang sound. Akala ngayon ng high priest si Eli, kasi nagpipray siya sa temple, siya nagpipray. Ito ang pahuba rito. Kaya kung pupunta kayo rito, magpray kayo. Kung pupunta kayo rito, magliligawan lang kayo, huwag na kayo pumunta. Ito ang pahuba rito. Then, uh, Hannah went to the temple and prayed. Amen. And the Eli, the high priest, thought that she was drunk because as uh, she was praying, her, her lips, no, moves, moving, no, no, but no sound, no voice. Nakikinig pa ko ba tayo? Because she is praying from her heart. Nakikinig pa ko ba tayo? Alam niyo itong nararanasan ni Hana, bigat na bigat na siya nyan eh. Wala nang sound na lumalabas sa bibig niya. Hindi ba, nasubukan niya ba sa buhay ninyo na mabigat na bigat na nararamdaman niyo, misang wala nang sound, numiiyak na lang kayo? Tama? Yes. You know, many times I find myself no, crying, no, praying, crying with crying, with tears, but no sound. Yes, many times. Many times. Nanadalangin ako. Not only for myself, not only for my family, but for you out there. But para maging sa inyo rin naman, di ba? Pinapanalangin ko ko kayo. At minsan, wala akong sound. Umiiyak lang ako. Lalo na kung mabigat, na mabigat yung nasa dibdib ko, umiiyak lang ako. May tao pa ho ba rito? Have you experienced that? Praying without sound? Just crying? Yes. Hello? Nararanasan ho natin lahat yan. 
Alam mo, instead of thinking of negative, instead of uh, doing uh, something bad or committing suicide, if we are facing big problems, you know what we gotta do is to pray. And this is what Hannah did. She prayed. Hallelujah. Amen. Palakpakan natin si Lord. And we give the best of the praise. Hallelujah. Anong ginawa ni Hannah? She prayed. Nanalangin siya. She prayed. As she, kept, as she kept on praying, as she kept on praying to the Lord, Eli observed her mouth. Hannah was praying in her heart and her lips were moving but her voice was not heard. Eli thought she was drunk. Eli was the high priest at that time. Verse 14 up to 17. And said to her, How long are you going to stay drunk? Put away your wine. Not so, my lord. Hannah replied, I am a woman who is deeply troubled. Do you? Akala ni Eli lasing siya. Pero ang sabi niya, ako isang babae masyadong bagabag na bagabay. Matindi ang problema ang dinadanas ko sa oras na ito. Hello? No? Eli said to her, How long are you going to stay drunk? Put away your wine. Because Eli thought that Hannah is drunk at that time. That's how my Lord Hannah replied, I am a woman who is deeply troubled. I have not been drinking wine or beer. I was pouring out my soul to the Lord. No. Hindi ako umiinom ng ano pa mga alam. No. Ibinubuhos ko lang, nakikinig ko ho ba tayo, ang aking ispinto, ang aking kaluluwa sa Diyos. Kagabi, pagkatapos ng uh, practice nila rito, nakita-kita kami ng kubaw. Nag-canvas kami ng mga bibili natin ng mga instruments o ano ba mga kailangan para sa ating darating na anniversary. Nagikinig pa po ba tayo? Matapos kami makapag-canvas at uh, perhaps itong darating na linggong ito, babayaran na po natin yon More than 100,000, very cheap. Ano po? Yung idadagdag natin sa mga gamit natin. More than 100,000, very, very cheap. At habang kami po ay bago kami po ay naghanap kami ng restaurant, nakikinig pa po ba tayo? At uh, umu-order si Pastora Roan at saka si J.I., my eldest son. Tapos sabi ni Pastora Roan, ito ang orderin natin, sabi ni J.I. Ate, wag yan, kasi malalasing tayo dyan, may alak yan. Sabi ka, ah, ganun ba? Sige, iba na lang ang orderin natin. Nakikinig pa po ba tayo? Amen. No. Last night, after the music uh, ministry practice, no, we met at Kumau. We got bus for the instruments that we are about to buy for the uh, for the our upcoming anniversary. And it cost 100,000, more than 100,000. Very, very cheap. Amen. May tapa ho ba rito? Para sabi sa katabi mo, murang-mura. Kaya-kaya ko na yan. Sagot ko na yan. Yes, very, very cheap, more than 100,000. And you alone can pay that, can shoulder that. Amen? Very, very cheap. No. And after canvassing of the instruments that we're about to buy for our for our forthcoming anniversary, we went to a restaurant. And then Pastor Roan ordered something for us. No. Then J.I. said, Ate Wagya, don't order that because it has wine. Sabi ka din niya. We will get drunk. Then Pastor Aroan said, It's okay. Okay, okay. Pinilitan namin. Amen? Ito ang pauba rito? Amen. Ang akala ng marami, ang naglilikod sa Panginoon, nagugutom, hindi po. Matapos namin mag-canvas at ang kinain namin, ang dami-dami, sobra-sobra pa, tinake out namin. Amen? Kaya maglikod kayo sa Diyos. Bumalik na kayo sa Diyos. Ang totoo lang, ang mga hindi naglilikod sa Diyos, namamatay na. Tara pa ho ba rito? Amen. Bilangin ninyo yung mga nakamatay na. Amen. No? If we are serving the Lord, the Lord will bless us abundantly. Amen. No one serving the Lord become poor. Amen. Amen. 
No one serving the Lord become poor. 